Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today, um, I had told, I can't remember who it was the other day, that they wanted to see, because I was talking about when I was making my Big Mac um, Slappy Joe's, that I told them I'd make a cheeseburger pizza. Well, the cheeseburger pizza is made with like pretty much Thousand Island dressing. And so I wanted to put the Thousand Island dressing on the homemade pizza. So I'll bring it down here. And what I do is I have the recipe. I'm only going to make the small amount like I did last time because that's all that's needed. I might have to take off my glasses because my writing, my eyes is not adjusting very well. I've been outside. Um, so usually it asks for a half a cup of mayonnaise. So I have a quarter cup of mayonnaise right here. I'm making a big, humongous mess. And then it asks for a quarter cup ketchup. So it's like an eighth cup. And go ahead and get that put in there. And then it asks for um, some sea salt. However, I'm just going to go ahead and just use my little thing. I'm not going to measure. All right. And it asks for some um, onion powder, which I'm also not going to measure. I'm just going to kind of like throw in there. And then some garlic powder. All right. And then I asked for a quarter cup of pickle juice, but because I'm only doing a half batch, I'll do a half, the eighth of a cup. My daughter absolutely loves pickles and pickle juice. She'll drink like the whole container of it if she could. Um, I have my ketchup, and then it says one tablespoon of the relish. But I'm gonna do just I'm gonna do a little bit less than that because, like I said, I'm not a big fan. So it's just it's just a little bit less. And then a teaspoon of mustard. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some in here. All right. And then it asks for two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, but because it's only a half batch, I'll be only doing one. All right. So put this over there. This comes together very nicely. And I was tossing about, should I make a homemade crust? And the night got away from me last night and the day got away from me today. So there is no homemade crust today. So this is This is the dressing for the first pizza here. Okay, so I did not obviously pre-think out my day at all. And this is what, I have a vacuum sealer for my freeze-dried stuff. And this is how tight it makes everything, which makes it really nice. So what's going to be happening is I am going to be using freeze-dried hamburger for the pizzas. Or the, the cheeseburger pizza, that is. Oop, make a big mess. But this is what it just looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some in my half gallon container. I got a big mess here. All right. Go ahead and temporarily put the lid back on. I gotta get a. I gotta get a container. I'll be right back. All right. So I have a little bit of the hamburger there. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some in here. Now this is my boiling hot water from the sink. Um, this takes only seriously a matter of like minutes to actually go ahead and reconstitute this. Most of this is already reconstituted, such this big piece. 
that's one thing I absolutely love about freeze dried stuff. It just, I mean, some things like the tomato paste doesn't come back very simple, um, but most things come back very, very quickly. Now, I do not measure the amount of water that goes into this because I just dump out what's ever left. But let me get done stirring this for a little bit, push this aside, and I'll go get the shells. All right, so time to put the sauce on the pizza. Give that one more stir. Go ahead and pour this on. Now I have the stove set at the 350. Now that about makes the perfect amount of sauce for these pizzas. And that's a lot cheaper than opening up a bottle of Kraft or whatever brand you use. And it's fresh, so that's even better. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on here too. And the um, Colby Jack. And I am going to be putting some of this on there. Not a lot, just a little bit. Go ahead and put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on here. Spread that out a little bit. Put a little bit of the Colby Jack on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the freeze-dried hamburger. I just took out all the extra um, water. I might have done a little bit too much hamburger, but... Just try to use the rest of this up so it's not going to go waste. Not that my husband wouldn't eat a spoonful of it just because he walks by it. What's that? Hamburger. Okay. So anyways, I should wipe off my hands here. Take a little bit of salt and pepper. and garlic powder and onion powder. We've got company today. Can you tell my husband's being a little bit noisier than normal? Sorry. <laughs> he, just, he just said he's sorry to turn, up the, turn on the TV, but they need to turn down. So anyways, um, I'll go ahead and get this in the oven and I'll show you what that looks like when it's out. All right, so here is the cheeseburger pizza, and that just came out of the June, and this is the blade we got for the pizzas, and my husband's going to show you how that works out. Look, cut it a little bit more off-center. I said <laughs> a little bit off-center, babe, but... This is why I don't work in a pizza shop. <sighs> we won't tell you his first real job was Pizza Hut. Like all those years ago. Yeah. So anyways. Yeah, like two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking like 50 years ago. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, so this is this is the, the cheeseburger pizza. And uh, this is ready to go. Another couple more minutes. And um, the other pizza is ready to go. It's just really made a huge mess in my oven. But make sure you check out both videos for the pizzas. And um, my question is, have you guys ever made this before? If you have, did you do anything differently than what I did that made yours might taste better? Let me know in the comments down below. 
Thanks for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.